our brother Asman, you have been to achieve, you have been able to achieve a great deal of projects, much as we meet challenges, like he has said over the way. Uh, basically, my my job is to talk about uh, the issues. Now you can see we have been building cages, two of them, but we had to step to stop on the way because of the limited resources we have. We have tried as much as possible to recycle the eucalyptus, which has been there, an old one, and then merged with a new one. Hello viewers, my name is Katerega, the son of the street vendor from Green Echo Operatives. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how we are preparing to scale up our project. We'll scale it to where we can uh, produce uh, enough uh, for our community. Uh, allow me uh, to show you how we are doing right now here so you can see. Well, the resources, uh, we are limited by resources and we try to use whatever we have um, in the community. Uh, we managed to get some jelly cans like these ones. This is plastic, but plastic which has been uh, used uh, by companies, uh, oil companies, and we thought Instead of leaving these uh, plastics to go to the landfill and uh, pollute our environment, let's make use of them uh, for the benefit of our project at the same time the environment. So, uh, we are going to make use of this at the moment. Uh, let me show you inside. We are going to make racks, two racks. Then in between, this is our plan. In between, we shall have a gap where we shall be walking to uh, feed the larvae inside here. So, this is our plan. And um, let's work together as you see what we are doing. This phase, basically what we are doing, sitting out, we are trying to to see how the jerry cans, uh, you can call them jerry cans, are going to fit. Now, the kind of setting we are having, we are we are setting out so that each crate can carry, I mean, each crest can carry two crates. Eh? You can have one here and a second one. Then they move in a row form. So this is the first row we have set out. Now we are setting out a second row using the same measurements so that each row can carry two crates. So, as you can see, we use these small pieces to brace uh, these crests so that we have the same measurements all through. And to have our work look neat. 
they have to be the same for consistency. Uh, quickly, let me take out When you lay the first crate on top of the other, it makes your work easier. You do not have to be measuring all the time. You just have to, to place one element above the other. What we are doing is we are trying to level the racks. The top level, the top racks, we are trying to level it with the middle, with the middle, rack. With the middle ra rack. So, it hasn't been easy, especially when we are working in a small space like this. Therefore, uh, you need to make proper measurements when you're doing this. So, my engineer is a good engineer, and we are doing everything to make it perfect. I want to demonstrate for you our targets in terms of uh, these racks. We are intending to have three, three of these, at least three here and three the other side. But we have lost some space with these standing poles. So we have not been able to achieve totally our target of uh, having 16 crates. But if we can demonstrate these two jerry cans that are here, we are able we are able to have four here, four here, and six here. That is twelve. So we are going to have. 12 crates or 12 jerry cans on each of these racks. So if you get the 12, 12 here, 12 here, 12 here, 12 here, 12 here. 12 here. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five times. Those are 60 jerry cans. I intend to have something like this on the Great that is up will have something like this because we want to maximize our space as much as possible. So if we have another line, sorry. If we have another line of 10 jerrycans like this, that is 70 jerrycans in total, or 70 crates in total. So if we have 70 here and another, let's say 40, on this rack that we are going to make here tomorrow, it is going to be a very, very big achievement in this small space, as you can see. There's no working space rotate around but we finally will figure out how to get what we want and have good results through our brother as man we have been to achieve we have been able to achieve a great deal of projects much as we meet challenges like he has said over the way uh basically my my job is to talk about uh the issues now you can see we have been building cages two of them but we had to step to stop on the way because of the limited resources we have we have tried as much as possible to recycle the 
eucalyptus, which has been there, an old one, and then merged with a new one. Uh, well, we have a great, great vision and uh, great hope in this project. We pray that it can benefit our community from uh, the response, the small impacts that we have had over the community. Uh, we, when they see us collect the rubbish, they encourage us because it saves them the burden of having so many dumping sites. There are very few trucks that collect rubbish from the village. So when we collect that waste, they find it advantageous on their side. So our target is to recycle as much waste as possible as we use it to produce these proteins. Yeah, thank you very much.